Hi everyone. It is about three in the afternoon on Thursday. I stopped by the post office and I got a card, a sweet card. Thank you so much. I wanted to thank Susie from Indiana, I believe. Yeah, little bunny rabbit on these cute little pup. I love those kind of dogs. Hope you get a lot, your paws on a lot of fun this Easter. Love Susie and a little gift. Thank you, Susie. I love getting the card and your gift. Thank you. That's so kind. I love you. Appreciate it. So I'm going to go to, um, I think I'm going to go to Dollar Tree right now. We're having family night for the first time in months, really. I think Christmas was the last time we all kind of gathered. So we're having family night this Saturday and I'm going to have to make vegetables. So I'm gonna see what kind of local vegetables I can get. If not, then I'm gonna to have to drive over to uh, either Haskell, which has got a bigger grocery store, or all the way to Walmart. It's not that much further. But I'll be doing that in the next day, probably tomorrow. But right now, I'm gonna head over to uh, the Dollar Tree and uh, get a few things. Thanks for watching so far. Keep going. I'm going to continue this video. I'm getting ready to cook the yellow squash and zucchini together with some onion butter and I've got fresh blueberries and strawberries. They've been soaking with a little sugar on them. Going to add these bananas to it. That's what I'm taking to family night. So that's what's going on here. There's Rosie in her chair. And Lily is in her bed. And that's what's happening on a so I'm sauteing it in butter. I put some basil, some salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. Lots of butter. And uh, sauteing the baby. <laughs> won't be, it won't take this long to cook. And then I'm going to add bananas. That's it. It's going to be yummy. And uh, we're having a family night, which is going to be fun. It's been a long time since we all got together, and there's there's over 20 people. Depends on who's in town, but definitely a big group. We are having... Oh, yes. okay. I had too many hugs lately? No, I haven't. That's what I made. Oh, look at all the stuff. Beautiful. I said I made that. Ooh, that looks like banana pudding. Everything looks delicious. Everybody's outside, but the dinner was scrumptious. Really, this is such a nice place. Yeah. That's what's going on. Time for the sun to set. Yeah, I heard her say that. I was surprised because I haven't seen him that much. This is definitely the place to watch the sunset. I am headed home before the sun sets. I, I'm the first one to leave. But I really... I don't want to be home too dark. Dinner was awesome, it was delicious. My fruit salad was completely gone and my zucchini and squash just about emptied. Okay, I really enjoyed the company and the food, seeing the children and I got a hug from everybody. Passover, there's gonna be a hundred people for the Passover dinner. It's a lot of people. I'll talk 
to you soon. I don't know what part of the video this is, but I hope you're enjoying it. That's what I hope. So there's the blinking light in my song. We don't have a signal, just a blinking light. That's it. And McDonald's is an hour drive away. <laughs> and my friends thought I flipped out and I'm here to say, I flipped out in a small town in Texas. everyone I just want to say that although I complain about you know the small town and awful I really do love this little town and it's a sample of that is that when I've been starting my car after I fill it with gas just when I fill it with gas it hesitates and it sounds really weird it won't start for a second and then if I give it enough gas it's it takes and then it doesn't do it again until I start my car. I mean, until I fill my car up with gas. So I thought, well, I looked it up and it said um, like a fuel, a fuel cleaner, a fuel injector fluid or whatever it is, is probably a good way to start to make sure that that helps it. And the guy, I go over, it's like around the corner. And I go, I talk to the same people that I bought the tires and uh, he was so sweet and he goes let's let's put some in and they had some and I was so happy that I you know I didn't have to even get out of my truck and um, I said I felt good and I tipped him five bucks because you know it was only six dollars and change seven bucks yeah and uh, he says no you don't have to give me five I said you know these days two bucks is like five bucks and we laughed no, I wanted to give him a good tip. He, he goes, come back anytime. I'll check your air. I mean, they're very nice that way. They really are. It's a small town. You know, he knows my name. I want to live in a town where everyone knows your name. Anyway, I'm going to go to Dollar General now. I have a few things on my list. And then I'm going to get head back home. But I thought I would share just, it, just a little bit of happiness that does happen when you live in a small town. It's, it's, the, it's, what ha it's exactly what happens. Out there on the wall, everywhere you go there's painted walls. It does help because it's an old town, you know, and the buildings are kind of funky. Some of them are, anyway. But you can see, if you build your building in brick, it's not gonna get blown over by the wolf. And last night, the winds was 30 miles per hour, the wind, um, yeah, and that was, I could hear it outside. It was whistling in my door and things were blowing around and I'm safe in my little apartment. Yeah, and it's made of brick. And so is this bank over here. See this bank? Yeah, that's the bank here. There's a drive through lobby too. And it's a good place, I think. I think I'm gonna open up like a savings account when I, if I have like a little bit of extra and just try to save money and then I have a local bank that knows me. So all I can do is just try to fit in as best as I can, you know? Try to make the best out of it because believe me, there's people out there and there's people that are less, less, less than me and you and, and poverty in all different ways, you know, in countries that, um, that have nothing for their people. We're very, very lucky here. Yes, I am, I am, uh, sorry this is not a, a cool, a cool place, like, you know, <laughs> I don't know, a little town up north or a, a cute little beach town. You know, there's other, yes, there's places that I would have rather chosen to be able to live for the rest of my days, but I couldn't afford it. And uh, 
you know, if you have to worry every month how you're gonna live, that's you're gonna you're gonna die earlier. Worrying. I try not to worry too much. Yeah. So I'm at the Dollar General. And I'm happy that I put that in my gas. He said, just drive it all the way and then fill it up again and see how you know when you fill it up how it goes. That's what I'm gonna do. Oop, I can't park here. That's what I'm planning on doing. But I don't want to take any long trips Lily. until it's perfect. Are you having a tizzy fit, Lily? Look at the stairs. See, they really do work. Now, Rosie doesn't like using them, but Lily loves them. Right, Lily? Yeah. I'm so good, girl. Yes, they work really good. Miss Rosie's down here. Hey, Rosie. Yeah. She was talking. What do you want, Lily? What do you want? Tell me. Oh, the silent treatment now. Silent treatment's not nice. Hi everyone, I did get this solar generator, a gifted solar generator from my very good friend, Bill. Hey Rosie, how are you? I, I'm not paid to do this and I'm not going to do a review, I haven't really used it completely. But I will show you, this is the power button. And see it says 100%, that means it's completely charged to the max. You've got... A car charger thing there you've got your uh, computer and cell phone uh, USB ports and I think that's a speed I can't think of the name of it but what's it say a PD 60 it's like a fast charger also on this side you've got your regular house um, outlets and while it's on the blue circle right there as it goes down those little blue lines disappear and of course you have to charge it and they say you you don't have to charge it but like once every six months so it's fully charged uh we're getting into the very heavy wind and rain and hail season here in may i'm ready to go but i have charging cords and i have two solar panels which i haven't even opened yet but um, I will be opening them when I need them. And uh, it came with the two solar panels, which is 100 watts of electricity. This baby, supposedly, I, I haven't done it personally, but I've seen videos on YouTube if you want to see them. Look it up. It will last. It, it will charge phones, computers, a TV, a lamp, like an LED lamp. And... Um, a fan all at one time so you know what more could you want and it lasts probably about seven to, to nine hours depending on what you're putting in it and then you can recharge it in the wall or with the solar panels outside and it's 15 pounds so it's not hard to pick up I'm so grateful to have this it really gives me peace of mind so this is what we chose for me and I'm really happy I did it's got good reviews that's what I have. So I'm going to end the video here. I know I haven't done a lot of videoing, but I have my reasons and uh, it's okay. You know, there's no, I don't have a set, I don't have a set time to uh, do videos. I do them when I can and when I feel like it. But I did feel like doing this. I had to get this out to you guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoy them. I really appreciate that. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Tuesdays and Fridays, I do live streams. And I try to put a video out every week. Forgive me if I don't. It just, there's reasons, you know. So I'll talk to you soon. And I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. And don't forget to check my Etsy shop, my Facebook, and my Instagram, which links right below these videos so you can really easily get to them. And I have a membership to my channel if you'd like to help support the channel in that way. Much appreciated. Love you all.